Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Soil makes an incredible difference. We had a good friend of ours that gave us some soil that wasn't very good a year ago. And instead of producing good flowers and good plants and vegetables and all that, it produced a lot of weeds that really thrived. The soil was not good, okay? This last year, she went to Home Depot, my wife did, and got some really good soil and put the flowers in and we fertilized it with miracle Grow, and the soil and the fertilizer made all the difference in the world. Jesus talks about good soil, and he says the person that receives the word of God and understands it is like a good, fertile soil. Listen to what he says in verse 8 of Matthew chapter 13. Other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears, let him hear. And then verse 23, Jesus gives the explanation. As for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundred, in another case sixty, and in another case thirtyfold. What's Jesus talking about there? He's talking about receptivity of the soil of one's heart. Here's the thing. If a person is not fertile soil, they will listen to the word, hear the word, maybe it was even explained, but they don't understand it and they quickly dismiss it and they say, that's not for me. But fertile soil of the heart is one who hears the word or reads the word, someone explains it, they embrace it, they understand it, and they receive it and they receive the message of the gospel with great faith and fervor, so much so that their life becomes productive for the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, what does it mean to be fertile soil? To be one who hears the word and understands it. This is what it means to have understanding of the word of God, that we understand that we are sinful and have broken God's commands, that we can't save ourselves, that God loved us so much that he sent Jesus to be our savior, who lived a perfect life for us in obedience to commands we've broken, who've died on a cross in payment for our sin, and who rose again from the dead to defeat and conquer death once and for all. Then we, by the Holy Spirit's power, repent of our sin, put our trust in Jesus and receive the forgiveness of sins and the promise of eternal life that Christ has earned for us. We are productive soil, fertile soil. The Holy Spirit has done the spade work, has convicted us of sin and brought us to faith. And that's what it means to be fertile soil. The soil is ready to receive the implantation of the word of God and our hearts are ready to receive it. Here's the reason, if you're a believer, here's the reason you are a believer. The Holy Spirit did a lot of spade work, did a lot of fertilization, did a lot of preliminary work to make the soil of your heart receptive and ready to receive the word of God and especially the gospel of Jesus Christ contained in the word of God. And finally, when everything was set, when your heart was just right, when the soil was receptive, the word of God, the seed of the gospel was planted in your heart. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, you said, yes, not only has it been explained to me, I understand and I receive and believe what has been taught to me. What a blessing that is. Now, the bottom line of this devotion today is there's a lot of people around us who are not receptive soil and they can't receive the proclamation of the word of God until their soil, the soil of their heart is receptive. Sometimes that takes years. Sometimes they have to go through hard knocks. Sometimes they have to further investigate the truths of the gospel. Sometimes they have to go through a lot of difficult things and try a lot of things that don't work to bring them the peace and security they're looking for in their heart and soul. And finally, when the soil is ready, the word of God can be planted, the gospel can be proclaimed, and they receive it with joy. Pray for people today around you whose hearts may indeed be receptive. The soil of their hearts may be receptive to the proclamation of the good news of God's love for them in Jesus Christ. 
That's the bottom line of this devotion today. We've been fertile soil. Many of us who listen to Daily Truths, we've been fertile soil. The word of God was planted. We receive it with joy. We pray for the same thing for people around us who may not be ready, but someday the soil of their heart can be readied by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let it be so and let it be done to the glory of God's holy and saving name. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.